Hello everybody, this is Dr. Shiv Kumar Bhisurapur, Associate Professor, Department of Studies in Education, Karnataka State Akkamadavi Women's University, Vijayapura. Today we shall study learning objectives. That is a very important and burning concept in educational aspect and education standards and education stream. Let us see the learning objectives. What is learning objective? Let us teach based on the objective. First, we have to write the objective. We have to teach based on the objective and the test over the objective. So, objectives plays a vital role in all standards of education. First, we have to write the objectives. And the second one, we have to teach based on those objectives what we have written. So, third one, test over the objective. We have to test whether we have written the objectives. Now, next comes education goals. Goals are general statements of intent. Goals guides objectives. Goals will help us to guide the objectives. Legislators develop aims. Administrators place goals. And teachers write objectives. And the goal words include understand, learn, know, increase, knowledge, acquire. So educational objectives based on learning, behavioral and student. So let us see what is this educational objectives. A learning objective is a statement of the measurable learning that is intended to take place as a result of instruction. So, complete the objectives, if you are framing the complete objectives. State what the student will be able to do. This is what observable behavior. What the student will be able to do. And next one, with the conditions under which they should be able to demonstrate. That is what condition. With the conditions under which they should be able to demonstrate. That is what the condition is. So keep in mind observable behavior and condition and next one under the expected degree of proficiency that's what criterion so how to we have to complete the objectives that's uh, what main uh, uh, point to discuss here observer behavior condition and criterion so observable behavior let us see objectives Without notes or references, the students should be able to list in order to steps in troubleshooting a basic computer program with no mistakes. This is what uh, observable behavior that we have to test. Without notes or references, the students should be able to list in order the steps in troubleshooting a basic computer program with no mistakes. Should be able to list in order. That is observable behavior. Keep in mind. And next one, condition should be able to list in order. That is what condition should that leads to condition. And next one, I told you that criteria should be able to list in order. Able to list in order. That is what the criteria that we, keep, that we have to keep in mind. Without notes or references, the students should be able to list in order the steps in troubleshooting a basic computer program with no mistakes. Given the values of two of the three variables in Ohm's law, the students should be able to calculate the value of the remaining variable 90% of the time. So, types, domains of learning objectives. So, the domains, the types of learning objectives will help us to categorize the terms in the form of behavior aspect. Let us see first one cognitive objectives. In that, describe the knowledge that learners are to acquire. Affective objectives. Describe the attitudes, feelings and dispositions that learners are expected to develop. Psychomotor objectives. Relate to the manipulative and motor skills that learners are to master. So, behavioral domain. What is behavioral domain? 
the cognitive domain blooms 1956 so here the in the cognitive domain intellectual skills knowledge remembering the information comprehension understanding the meaning application using the information analysis breaking down into parts synthesis producing a new whole and evaluation judging the value this is the bloom uh, part of bloom taxon that is 1956 intellectual skills now come to the affective domain that uh, what the bloom has said in 1964 emotions feelings and values affective domain means emotions feelings and values so here the behavioral aspect are receiving willing to listen or see responding active participation and valuing internalize the worthiness and organization ability to see the value characterization by value behavior consistent with a value system so next comes very important aspect psychomotor domain here as the concept indicates muscular motor skills and so on and uh, behavioral aspects are readiness willingness for an activity observation watches and is interested perception senses and becomes able response that is a very important uh, aspect response practices a skill adaptation develops and masters a skill hope uh, you have got information about the learning objectives thank you and thank you and all maintain the social distance and let us fight against pandemic issue thank you